Now that we'd uh, moved out to the country, I um, tried setting up a UHF antenna to receive uh, three view television at home but had no luck. So, uh, because we just don't really have any signal where we're situated here. So I bought one of these kits which is a uh, 70 centimeter complete free view receiver and satellite dish uh, from this guy on Trade Me. Uh, Mike458 is his username and the cost for the whole set was um, $95 and for $95 the set came with the dish and mounts came with a Freeview receiver or actually it's just a, a fairly generic satellite receiver it looks like about 10 meters of RG6 cable and also a satellite finder so let's quickly just walk outside and uh, show what I had to do to get the dish mounted. Okay, so, oops. So, here we've got the dish. Let me just quickly move around the side of it. We've got the dish looking out here. This is a fairly large dish. Now, one of the things I asked Mike about was um, I knew that the satellite that I was going to try and try and pick up was um, going to be almost parallel with, with my house. So I asked him whether this dish would be able to basically look at 90 degrees from the house or uh, kind of parallel to the house. And um, he said that it would, but he also said that um, he can't guarantee that and he wasn't 100% sure. And so what I've had to do, as you can see there, is I had to make some 100 millimeter spacers, uh, those little spacer blocks underneath right there, to essentially get the dish far enough from the house so that I can turn it to almost 90 degrees. Now, uh, there are a few ways that I, that I knew where to align the dish. The first one was that I looked at the neighbors and see if we can see them in the distance there. So there's the neighbor's house and so you can see they've got the dish on top there and so I had a look at the at two of the neighbors and I looked at where their dishes were pointing and I was able to uh, kind of more or less realize that my dish was going to be pointing pretty parallel to the house like that. So. So I mounted the dish and I pointed it more or less in the right direction. Um, this, this is before I had the 100 mil spacers, this was when I tried it with 50 mil spacers. And I used the satellite finder that came with the kit uh, and that's, that's all pretty self-explanatory. Basically point your dish in roughly the right direction. Let me grab the satellite finder. Point your dish in roughly the right direction. This is it here. Um, connect the satellite side to your dish, connect the other side to your powered up receiver, which I also had connected to the television at that point. And then it's got a sensitivity adjustment on the side there. And I adjusted it so it was reading about five on the scale. And then I moved the dish, um, I swung the dish around, which is called the azimuth. It's just basically the angle of the dish. And I also, and, and basically peaked the signal and then I adjusted it back to five. And then I played with the elevation of the dish, which is the up and down of the dish, basically. And, um, and that's all fairly easily done from the back there. Uh, until I peaked the signal again. Now, I did that the first time with the 50 mil blocks. And then spent about two or three hours uh, wondering why I couldn't really get any of the New Zealand Freeview channels. But I got quite a lot of um, other channels, uh, mostly religious channels and a bit of Russia Today and that kind of thing. And after a, a long time of, of browsing the internet and, and actually trying to figure out what was going on, it occurred to me that I was actually pointing at the Optus D2 satellite, not at the Optus D1 satellite. So I basically had completely the wrong satellite that I was looking at. And so that, uh, so once I figured that out, I came out here and I moved the dish um, pointing more closer to north, which is which is closer to the house, and at this point the dish was hitting the house with the 50 mil spacers I was using at first. And so, uh, but what happened is I used the satellite finder while doing this and I figured out that I, I could, you know, there was definitely another satellite there, even though I couldn't fully maximize the signal from it. I connected the antenna cable back up again 
uh, connected it all up and I found that I then had the right channels but um, it wasn't getting a very good signal and so what I had to do then is, is make the 100 mil block so that I could make the, make the dish look basically in the right direction now, the dish didn't actually come with assembly instructions although Mike did email them to me later on although by that stage I already figured it all out it was fairly straightforward to assemble wasn't too big a deal so I've just got some cable running through the house now Oops, let's get into here and we'll go have a look at this little receiver unit. So let's have a look. So cable runs through here. Now this is what the little little receiver unit that the kit comes with uh, looks like. So you've basically got your uh, satellite input on the side there. You've got power and an infrared receiver and you've got AV cables going to your television here. And that was fairly straightforward. And there you can see I've just uh, quickly finished searching for all the channels. So let's quickly, while I'm here, we'll just have a look at what all the settings are that I've got set up. I'll just mute that. There we go. Okay, so let's quickly go. So I'm going to press the menu button. And let's press the exit button to get back to... Oh, there we go. So menu button to exit. Now I'm going to press the menu button to go back to the menu and let's go and have a look so what I did, what it came with was a whole bunch of pre-configured satellites which um, in your situation may work I, I fiddled with a lot of those settings to try and configure them to, for the Optus D1 satellite because I couldn't actually receive it at first because obviously I was pointed at the, at the wrong satellite so let's just quickly have a look at what I've got in the end uh, these are the values that I came up with so I've got a new set one I've set the LMB type to user. I've set the frequency of the LMB to 11.3 gigahertz, and I knew that that was the right frequency by looking at the um, the little box that the LMB came in. The LMB is the little white thing that attaches to the end of the the, the stake for the dish, and basically that's that's the only major one that I set up those to. Um, I basically you change the LNB type to user and then just set that to 11.3 gigahertz or, or 11,300 megahertz then um, what I did next was I basically went to auto scan and went down to 3 and hit the OK button and that started the search and that's how you, you got all your channels you can also, if you look at NIT search, I believe, uh, you can see th these are basically different uh, frequencies that I'm going through here. So let's just start from number 1 of 28 up there. So you can see it's, it's uh, TP frequency there. Now these were automatically populated by the auto search, but this, these are the correct values for the um, Optus D1 satellite. So you can see there that you've got uh, 12456. Uh, a symbol rate of 22500 so I know that this 12456 and the next one along which is 12483 are both 3ViewNZ uh, they should both be horizontal horizontally po horizontal polarity and um, you can see in the bottom we've got pretty good uh, signal quality as well um, from the satellite so yeah, uh, considering that all of this stuff, including the satellite finder and this bit of cable that I've just got temporarily running out to the dish, was less than a hundred bucks, uh, it is fairly good value for money. The only thing that I left out was, there's a little picture, I'm just going to try and zoom in on, looking at the, the LNB on the back of the dish there, uh, there was a little picture saying adjust that so that the wire coming out of it points at about eight o'clock which is what you can see is approximately what I've done there and I believe that has to do with the polarity of the dish and polarity of the satellite so you want to get that basically also just pointing in the right more or less the right direction but yeah uh, you know um, for a hundred bucks I figure you know the fact that it actually works and and you know I could do it all probably would have gone a bit quicker if I'd realized I was pointing at the wrong satellite quicker but uh, yeah not not too bad all up really so uh, hopefully this video will be of a little bit of use to someone looking at buying the kit and uh, installing it at their place